Mina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. This is 2 Samuel chapter 18, and a little bit of a tough message tonight. It's not like, uh, this is heart-wrenching, or this is, you know, terrible. It's more like, uh, when you run into this in your life, it can be hard to do. It's one of those things. And here it is. Start um, in verse 10, 2 Samuel chapter 18, verse 10. Now a certain man saw it and told Joab and said, I just saw Absalom hanging in a terebinth tree. So jo Absalom and his armies went up against David and his mighty men. And Absalom's uh, armies didn't do so well. They were defeated. And Absalom, he had this ridiculously long, thick, luscious, gorgeous hair. And as he was retreating from the enemy, he got hung up in a term of the tree. Just read the beginning of 2 Samuel chapter 18. As a matter of fact, for the upteenth time, read all of 1 and 2 Samuel. Great book. So he's literally hanging by his hair from this terebinth tree. So Joab said to the man who told him, You just saw him, and why did you not strike him there to the ground? I would have given you ten shekels of silver and a belt. I guess a belt was a big deal. I'm like, someone giving me a belt's not much of a motivation to me. <laughs> Cultural difference there. But the man said to Joab, Though I were to receive a thousand shekels of silver in my hand, I would not raise my hand against the king's son. For in our hearing the king commanded you and Abishai and Etai, saying, Beware lest anyone touch the young man Absalom, otherwise I would have dealt falsely against my own life. For there is nothing hidden from the king, and you yourself would have set yourself against me. Then Joab said, I cannot linger with you. And I won't finish up verse 14, because, uh, that's the end of it. Excuse me. <sighs> the end of my day draws near. There comes a time when someone in authority over you tells you to do something and you know it's wrong. Whether it's um, the person above them has said it's wrong, or it just goes against your own moral, ethical standard. And, it's, and there's comes the conflict like, do I just, you know... Do I just try to hide from the other authority? Do I just push down my moral ethical code and give in to this person? Or do I stand up to them and risk, you know, punishment of some kind, of some sort? And the right thing, we all know what the right thing to do is, you stand by your moral ethical code. You go by what the higher authority says. And then there are times when even the higher authority will be the one that's wrong. And you've got to stand up to them. And that's even scarier because they have even more authority and it's even tougher. And the right thing to do is to tell that person, I won't do it. That's wrong. And he even said to Joab, and you know it's wrong. His case was very clear cut. King David was a good man. He gave a clear order. And it was a not only a clear order, it was a very public order. So that decision... Standing before Joab, who was a very strong man and who was the commander of David's armies, even though it was because of all those things that made the decision significantly easier, I can't imagine it was just easy to say, yeah, Joab, you're completely and totally in the wrong. And he went so far as to say, is, and if I did as you just told me to do, you yourself would turn against me. If the, if the pressure was put on, and if, if David found out, and by the way, he will find out because nothing's hidden from him. And in like manner, when someone over us tells us to do something that's wrong, even if it's not that clear cut and we just know inside it's wrong, we need to tell them, you're wrong and I won't do it. Like I said at the beginning, you see, you read in the Bible, you read the story, and as far as we know, the guy came out of the situation just fine. Job just basically said, I don't, have to I don't have time for you. I don't have time to deal with you. And he just went off, and he and his armor bearers did kill Absalom. <sighs> Jeez, end of the day. Good and tired. And so just a little bit more to do with YouTube to wrap up the day. But yeah, guys, do what you know is right, even if sacrifice is involved. That's... It's easy to say, it's easy to read, it's hard to do. All I can say is at the end of the day, God will reward you for doing the right thing. God's got your back. And if a bit of sacrifice comes your way, 
if you've got to give up something to do what's right, it will be worth it in the end. So take a stand. Do what's right. Even if you regret it in the short term, you won't in the long term. And thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.